We see scandals everywhere, from celebrities to politics. There's always something going on that's got people talking, and oftentimes getting a little bit upset. Same goes for the world of art, and over the years, there have been many works that have caused some tension, and today we're gonna talk about it as we count down the top 10 scandalous paintings from history that will make you blush. At number 10, Olympia. In more modern times, our art has changed drastically. These days, some of the most provocative pieces gain the most notoriety and are highly praised, but back in the day, things were a lot different, and revealing pieces were often quite controversial. Showing things like nudity and gore were highly criticized, and many of these pieces caused mild uproar. This is the case with the painting titled Olympia by Edouard Manet. This piece features a nude model being presented flowers by a servant. What caused so much controversy about this piece was not only the nudity, but also its context, so to speak. At the time when this painting was created, when viewers saw artwork featuring a nude woman, the subject was usually depicted in a more passive way. But with the Olympia piece, the woman is looking straight at the viewer, and it made audiences a little uncomfortable. On top of that, it was also believed that the woman depicted in the painting was a lady of the night. This was widely thought because the name Olympia, the name of the piece, was often associated with women of this profession. As well, the painting looked to be set in a boudoir, which also backs up the suggestion of this woman's profession. What people found to be most scandalous was the fact that this woman in the image was modeled after a real person and not just a figment of the artist's imagination. At number 9, Le Déjeuner sur l'Elbe. As I mentioned previously, the presence of nudity in paintings was often pretty controversial back in the day, and we will see this quite a lot throughout this video. Depending on the context of the painting and its subject matter, some pieces can cause audiences to see it as too provocative. Another one of these paintings that faced backlash due to its subject matter is the piece Le Déjeuner sur l'Elbe by Edouard Manet. Yeah, the same guy who painted Olympia. In this painting, it features a naked woman surrounded by fully clothed men. This caused a scandal in the art world, and even when the painting was unveiled, it wasn't allowed to make its debut at the Salon in Paris because it was rejected and was instead exhibited at the Salon des Refusés. Even the style of this painting caused some controversy because of the stark contrast of light and dark in the painting as it went against the style of art at this time. Before we carry on talking about more paintings that caused some uproar, why not take a moment to leave a like on this video if you're enjoying it so far, and while you're at it, consider subscribing to the channel to see more videos like this one. At number 8, The Last Judgment. If you would believe it, even the most famous painter Michelangelo faced controversy for his painting of The Last Judgment. This is the painting that covers the altar wall in the Sistine Chapel and is one of the most famous paintings, but it was also shrouded in scandal when the piece was first completed. In the painting, the artist depicts the second coming of Christ and God's final judgment on humanity. You see angels and saints in the painting, as well as the souls of people being dragged either to heaven or hell. It was a powerful artwork. But it was a powerful artwork, but because the painting featured mostly men who were drawn as nude, it made people pretty upset. This piece sparked a feud between Michelangelo and the Catholic Church, as they believed that the painting was too inappropriate for a place as sacred as the Sistine Chapel, and they were not happy with the artist's depiction of nude figures in that holy place. It wasn't until after Michelangelo passed away that the church got to tweak the painting to their liking, so they hired another artist to come and paint loincloths and fig leaves over the genitalia of the figures in the piece. At number 7, Death of the Virgin. Back in the day, people took their religious paintings quite seriously, and so they wanted everything to be done right, otherwise it became a scandal. Well, a scandal occurred with Caravaggio's painting, Death of a Virgin. This painting featured a depiction of the Virgin Mary with a very thin halo in a somber setting. This piece was commissioned from Caravaggio for a chapel in the church of Santa Maria della Scala in Rome. And this artist was specifically chosen because he was known for how his paintings realistically depict human emotion. This painting did end up capturing the realism that the church was looking for, but they were still let down and got pretty upset about the final piece because it was very different than other religious pieces at the time. Usually when a saint was depicted in a painting, it would feature a choir of angels to give a sense of divinity to the piece, but Caravaggio didn't include this and stepped away from that style of painting. Unfortunately for the artist, the church rejected the piece and some believe that their rejection could have come from the painting's realism or from the fact that a lady of the night was used to model for Mary in the piece. At number 6, The Gross Clinic. 
These days, medical based content is pretty popular. Medical dramas and medical TikToks have a lot of fans, and many of them don't see any problem with the gore that comes with the content, but back in the 1800s, it was a lot for audiences to handle, and that's why the piece called The Gross Clinic by Thomas Eakins faced scandal. This art piece that was labeled as shocking at the time featured Dr. Samuel D. Gross overseeing a surgical operation while doing a lecture for medical students. This piece was pretty controversial at the time because of the gore, seeing the surgical procedure really happening, and with the blood in the image. But many other people saw this piece as a little unsettling because of how all the people in the painting looked so calm while there was a literal surgery being performed right in front of them. The only person who looked to be showing any emotion in the piece was a woman in the foreground of the painting who looked pretty triggered at the sight in front of her. Back when this painting was first released, it was controversial as heck, but now in more modern times, it's renowned as an homage to science and medicine. At number 5, Les Demoiselles d'Avignon. Picasso was one of the most renowned artists of modern times. His style of painting became iconic and he revolutionized modern art, but as he was beginning to find fame in the art world, he also faced some scandals when it came to some of his art pieces. One piece that caused some uproar from audiences was the painting titled Les Demoiselles d'Avignon. This piece featured five nude women in a brothel and was done in his signature cubist style. This piece not only shocked audiences, but other artists as well because of how unusual and mildly unsettling it looked. Some of the women depicted in the painting had regular faces, but two of them were painted to look as if they were wearing African masks. On top of that, it looked like the women were staring at the viewer, which just made audiences more freaked out by this piece. It was seen as too progressive in the art world for quite some time, but as the years went on, people came to appreciate its unusual style and nature. At number 4, Myra. This next painting I'm about to tell you about is pretty creepy and it it caused a scandal in the art world because of its context and the way it was created. This 1995 painting called Myra, created by Marcus Harvey, was based on the mugshot of serial killer Myra Hendley. Myra was a serial killer in the 60s who took the lives of a handful of children between the ages of 13 and 17. When Myra's original mugshot started gaining notoriety as it was circled around the world, the artist attempted to create a piece to show the quote, influence of photography over years of obsessive media replication, end quote. The painting looks like a newspaper printing of the mugshot, but upon closer inspection, you can see that the painting is made up of small handprints like those of a child. When it first debuted at the Sensation exhibit of young British artists at the Royal Academy of Art in London in 1997, it was one of the most important pieces at the show, but it was also seen as controversial among many artists. It was so hated by some that it was actually vandalized when two artists defaced the piece with ink and eggs. It was seen as controversial to the public because some believed that the painting was insensitive to the pain that the families of Myra's victims were dealing with. At number three, Guernica. Back to Picasso, we have another one of his scandalous paintings. This next piece, titled Guernica, was considered one of Picasso's best works, but it was also one of his most controversial. This painting featured a lot of pain and suffering, specifically of animals and humans. It was pretty graphic, even with his signature cubic style. Picasso painted this piece in reaction to the bombing of Spain by the Germans in World War II. At the time, this piece was turning into war propaganda to oppose fascism, and the painting became a tie between politics and war. During the war, Spain was allied with the Germans, so this painting was controversial because it went against the government's position in the war since it was condemning the bombing and loss of Spanish lives. After the war was over, however, the controversy surrounding the painting died down as it was no longer relevant. At number two, the Holy Virgin Mary. This next piece of artwork is probably one of the strangest looking pieces on this list, but the controversy surrounding this painting was pretty juicy. The Holy Virgin Mary piece by Chris Ophelia debuted at the Sensations exhibit of young British artists at the Royal Academy of Art in 1996. It featured a black Virgin Mary in a blue cloak surrounded by images of female genitalia cut out from adult magazines and featured a bare breast made out of elephant dung. Yeah. The whole point of this piece was to highlight the stereotyping and sexualization of black women. Though it was a powerful piece, it was also subject to a lot of criticisms. Religious groups took great offense to the content of this piece and the sexual themes surrounding the Virgin Mary. On top of that, New York City Mayor Rudy Giuliani said that the artwork was quote, sick and anti-Catholic and threatened to pull funding from the museum if the painting was not immediately removed. Even protesters tried to ruin the painting with white paint and horse manure. And finally, Finally, at number one, the origin of the world. Now here's the spiciest painting of them all. 
probably won't be able to show a photo of this one unless it is heavily censored, but I'm sure if you really want to see it, you can Google it. The painting titled The Origin of the World by Gustave Courbet has been shocking viewers for over 150 years. This painting features a naked woman with her lady bits front and center. It was peak realism painting and it was actually never supposed to be public. The Origin of the World was originally a commission by a private buyer, but somehow the public got a look at the piece and it caused a scandal for just how racy it was. If you've seen the image, then you would know what I'm talking about. The painting marked peak realism and also served as almost an anatomical study. Let's just say that it was very detailed. No one was expecting that one. Before we wrap things up, I want you guys to leave a comment down below telling me if you have a favorite art piece and if so, what is it? I'd have to say my favorite painting is Starry Night by Van Gogh. Anyways, that's it for me. I've been your host, Free Room, and until next time, stay safe, make good choices, and stay groovy, friends. Is the piece Le Déjeuner du... Is the piece Le Déjeuner... In the painting, the artist and many of them don't see any problem that comes with the gore. Let's try that one again. Was based on the mugshot of the sea. Oh my god!